Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. In this video, we're going to create the application, which is a container for the various web pages we'll have in the application. But first, I'm logged in as Ashwini, one of the four developers, and Ashwini needs to go back after completing some of the tasks, go back to team development and look at the to-do to list. And she can click on Ashwini and she can see that she could update the review and revise in data modeler and set that to 100% complete and then apply that change. And then she also has a draft model and she can set that to 100% complete and apply that change. And while I'm uh, right here on the review and revise and data modeler, let me go ahead and call up. If I open up Oracle SQL data modeler, you can see the data model that the tables that we ran scripts for, this is the data model they are based on. So this is the developer, Oracle developer data modeler, uh, logical model and then that can be engineered into the actual physical tables that would be built into the database. So Ashwini has completed that and so she has revised her to-do list to reflect that. Now if I take off this filter for Ashwini I can see all the to-dos and if I scroll down I'm going to see that to create the application Let's see right here, select application template with input from client. That's assigned to Diana. So I'm going to pause the video, log out as Ashwini, and log back in as developer Diana. Obviously, you don't need to do that as you work along with the videos, but I want to emphasize how we could use the team development area to track tasks and who's completed tasks. I'm logged in as developer Diana and I'm going to now create the application. So I'm going to go into Application Builder and I will click Create. Now an application would be a container for the elements in that application. Pages and then pages have their own elements. They're the container of different elements within a page. We want the default which is a database and click Next and then you can alter the number if you want to this is going to be this number will be reflected in the URL for the application but we'll take the default and we need to give it a name so I'm going to call it the uh, team tracking and the default schema you shouldn't need to change that this will be your parse as schema so the tables in this schema will be the ones that this application works with by default without having a fully qualified table name. And we're going to have it include a home page. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And so we already, it's a little hard to see here, we actually have two sections. Up here we're seeing a page that has already been added to the application. And down here, if we knew in advance other pages we wanted, we could go ahead and add those pages by selecting, giving it a name, and clicking Add Page. But we're going to leave it with just the home page and click Next. And we won't do anything here for shared components. We will look at shared components later on in another video. We won't change anything here. We allow Application Express to uh, provide the login security and we want one level of tabs. We're staying with English and so I'll just click Next. Now we're going to select the theme and I want to select the theme 25. I want it to show how when we get near the end of the application we will have a responsive design which means that the display of the pages will alter based on the size of the browser. So if you're looking at 
this application from a tablet or a phone, the display will adjust based on the size of those browsers. So I'm clicking this, 25, and I click Next. And then I have Create Application. And now I can run this application. I have two pages. When I first run it after I've logged in, I will have to log in as though I were accessing the application directly from a browser. So I've logged in and there's not much to see here. Uh, I just have my home page. However, down below, let me move this up a little bit, you do have the developer toolbar so we can jump from viewing the application in the user mode to the designer mode very quickly by clicking on these options. So this particular page, the home page, I could click edit page one and then we're going to see the designer page and this is where we will do a lot of adjustments uh, to the pages after we have created them. So we'll, main, we'll mainly work in page rendering uh, and so that'll be the area that we focus on, but you also have page processing for some logic and the shared components area. I can run the page from here if I click run. I can also change pages by clicking this list here that pops up, but I'm going to run the page again. I can jump back not to the individual page, but the application overall by clicking application. And in the next video, we're going to create a report and form on one of our tables.